What up guys, Miguel here of Yugatech, and today something very interesting has landed in our studio. The new gaming and unique looking smartphone from the Infinix fam, the GT10 Pro. Let's dive in. Similar to the Nothing phone, the back panel is transparent, allowing us to see the PCB or motherboard along with other components like this CPU here. Infinix calls it the Cyber Mecha Design with a mini LED indicator. This unique back cover is influenced by the cyberpunk aesthetics and it comes in either cyber black, like we have here, or Mirage Silver. The back panel also features interactive and customizable LED indicators. More on that later. Like I mentioned earlier, our review unit comes in this nice looking cyber black color with 8GB of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. And if you place it beside the Nothing Phone, the semblance is pretty close. Infinix took the design even further by including a nicely designed protective cover that does not only look cool, but adds better grip to the device, especially when gaming. And on top of that, there's an Easter egg here too. The packaging of the GT10 Pro is designed to serve an additional purpose. You can actually assemble the outer packaging of the box and turn it into a music amplifier and charging stand. Just like so. At the front, the GT10 Pro features a 6.67-inch 10-bit Full HD Plus AMOLED display with a variable refresh rate of 60, 90, to 120 Hz. That's great for gaming and watching movies. Infinix claims they work closely with the game developers of PUBG, Mobile Legends, and Free Fire to give users an optimal experience when playing these games. So we tried these games to see if that holds up and it did. We're getting frame rates in the north of 90 frames per second on average. One of the more interesting or shall we say controversial features of the GT10 Pro is its backlighting effect. Well, yes, it seems to be inspired by the Nothing Phone, but once you've tinkered around with it, you will realize that this behaves more like the back panel of a ROG phone than a Nothing Phone. The backlighting illuminates based off the following scenarios. Incoming calls, notifications, charging, startup, and games. Backlight effects are great when you have your phone on mute or do not disturb mode when the phone is facing down. You can even set the lights to follow the rhythm of the music you are playing with probably a built-in EQ. It can be jarring at times, especially at night when you are about to go to sleep, so they've added a setting to turn this off at certain times to fit your schedule. Running the GT10 Pro is a Dimensity 8050, which is a 6 nanometer 5G chipset. It is comprised of an octa-core processor with a single ARM Cortex-A78 CPU running at 3.0 GHz, an additional 3x ARM Cortex-A78 running at 2.6 GHz, and four efficiency cores of ARM Cortex-A55 running at 2.0 GHz. This is paired up with a 9-core ARM Mali G77 graphics processor, 8GB of RAM plus another 8GB of MemFusion or extended memory, and 256 gigs of UFS 3.1 internal storage. Storage is expandable of up to 1 terabyte via the microSD card slot. The performance is validated by benchmark scores that we got. Over 700,000 points in Antutu. That's in the range of a Snapdragon 888 chipset, which isn't bad. If you want to see more scores, we'll flash them on screen right now. The UI is pretty simple and clean, although the themes like wallpapers and icons scream gaming. It's also worth mentioning that there's no bloatware in here whatsoever, and that's a big thumbs up from us. For biometrics, you have an in-display fingerprint sensor as the primary locking mechanism, but you can also opt for facial recognition to unlock the device on top of the usual PIN, pattern, or password options. For connectivity, you have 5G from the dual nano SIM cards, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.1, GPS, and NFC. There is a 3.5mm audio jack here too, so yay for that. For better audio experiences, it also gets dual or stereo speakers. The GT10 Pro comes with a triple camera setup with an LED quad flash. This is headlined by a 108 megapixel main camera, which shoots 4K or 1080p at 30 frames per second. This is paired up with two more 2 megapixel cameras, one of which is a macro sensor. Front camera is a 32 megapixel shooter with dual flash. 
you seldom get a flash in the front facing camera so that's pretty unique. So far the main camera produced some pretty good shots. Photos are clear and sharp. Color reproduction is on the more saturated side and even some night shots look great. For video recording, the main camera can shoot up to 4K at 30 frames per second like I mentioned earlier. There is no optical image stabilization here but the clips are mostly decent. Powering the Infinix GT10 Pro is a nice 5000mAh battery and it comes with a 45 watt fast charger. This charger can fill up the cell in about an hour tops. While you're in a gaming session, you can also enable bypass charging in the X Arena. Per battery, the device also did well for our benchmarks. Hitting 11 hours and 25 minutes in our PC Mark battery test at 50% brightness, muted, and in airplane mode. It yielded an impressive result in our proprietary video loop test, clocking in at 27 hours and 20 minutes, under the same conditions. As for the price, we still don't have any details at the time of this recording, but I'll be sure to have it pinned in the comment section when available. Overall, the Infinix GT10 Pro is a well-rounded and very capable gaming smartphone. It isn't the most powerful one out there, but it can truly hold its own with most of the popular games. It's got a very interesting design, good build quality, above-average performance, and ticks all the boxes for a gaming smartphone. What do you guys think of the Infinix GT10 Pro? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it informative, or educational, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe right to our YouTube channel, hit that bell icon to get notified of our future uploads. Be sure to visit Digitech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Miguel, and I'll see you in the next one.